Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use disk management to create simple volume and then how to expand a simple volume to increase its capacity when you have more available space on the physical disk. I will also create storage pool and storage space to combine multiple physical disks into one disk. Finally, I will show how to use PowerShell commands to manage drives such as to format drive and delete disks and so on. I'm using Windows 10 environment. First, I will go to the start menu and type in disk management. From the available option, I will choose create and format hard disk partitions. Disk 0 is the system disk and disk 1, 2 and 3, these two disks are of 5 gigabyte space. Disk 4 is of 10 gigabyte space. When you run disk management for the first time, you may get a prompt asking to initialize disk. First, I'm going to create a simple volume on disk 4. Before I can create a simple volume, I need to make this disk online. So I will right click on disk 4 and then select online. Now I will right click on unallocated space and then select new simple volume. New simple volume user starts. I will go next. I will allocate about 5 gigabyte for this simple volume. So I choose 5000 megabyte and go next. By default, it's going to assign drive letter E. I will change it to drive letter F and then go next. It's going to format this volume in NTFS and I can also put a volume label. I will put data and then go next and then finish. As you can see, the F drive has been created and it is about 5 gigabyte space. Also, there are about 5 gigabyte unallocated space on disk 4. I can extend this simple volume up to the maximum space available on the same physical disk. I will right click on data F drive and then select extend volume. The extend volume wizard starts disk 4 already selected and it's also showing the available space that I can use to extend this volume. I will take all of it and then go next and then finish. As you can see, the volume is now taking the entire space on disk 4. Next, I'm going to create a storage pool and a storage space. I will go to control panel from the start menu and then select system and security and then storage space. I will create a new pool and storage space. It's showing all available physical disks. As in my case, there are three physical disks available. I will select all of them and click on create pool. This pool is going to give a two-way mirror resiliency. The maximum available space here is 4 GB and including resiliency, the maximum available space is 8 GB. Now the total space was more than 8 GB, but because of the technology used for resiliency, the extra space is being used for that purpose. So we'll click on create storage space. That has created a new storage space and a drive letter E. I can add more physical drive with this storage pool by going to add drives and I can create more storage spaces as well. So storage pool and storage space gives you more flexibility for extending a volume. Next, I'm going to use PowerShell to format a drive and delete disks. So I'll close this window, 
this window as well. I will right click on the start menu and then select Windows PowerShell. I can use get disk command and that will show all available disks as you can see there is disk 0, 4 and 5 available right now when I created the storage space that gave disk 5 which came from disk 1, 2 and 3 disk 4 of 10 gigabyte space was there disk 0 is the system disk I can use get partition command to store all available partitions in all disks. I can format a drive, for example, if I want to format F drive. So I will use format volume command and then dash drive letter F. I will restart the machine so I will open PowerShell once again in admin mode and then use format volume Dash drive F. After restarting the format volume command was successful. Next, I will use clear disk command. Clear dash disk. I want to clear disk 4 and erase all data. So remove data clear dash disk number four and then dash remove data so it is asking to confirm by pressing y i will press y and then since there was no error message it is successful so i will open disk management again And then you can see disk 4 which had a simple volume of 10 gigabyte space is not available anymore it has been completely cleared removed everything from the disk and it is prompting me to initialize again the disk is now completely empty and the volume has been removed Disk 5 represents the storage space created from the storage pool from three physical disks. This is the end of this video. I hope you found this video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notification by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.